x plus 5 equals 7, so 2x equals 2 and x equals 1. So I've been making these light board videos for a long time now and I keep getting asked about them. How do you make them? How much does it cost to make them? Um, are you writing backwards? All sorts of things. So just yesterday I got finished making uh, a fourth light board studio, uh, one in my own house. Uh, so I thought I'd really quickly show you how it's done, how to set it up, uh, how much it costs to set up, things like that, so you can maybe make one for yourself. Uh, let's get started. So first up I'm writing on a piece of glass. I'm going to show you all of this in a second. First up I'm writing on a piece of glass. It's a special kind of glass that I bought from a special kind of place. Uh, here's me. You can see there's a microphone right here. Let's call that a microphone. And then on the other side of the glass here, there's a webcam. Now off to the side within reach, I have a computer. So that's essentially the setup, but you're gonna see that there's a lot more tricks in, at play here to make it all work. All right, you can see also, I'm not an artist, sorry about that. So this is the full lightboard studio. Now as I go around, I'll show you things and I'll also put um, descriptions of what I'm looking at on the screen. So we have our webcam here. You can see this webcam, I've put duct tape here and here. That's because blue lights appear there, which cause reflections. So we get rid of that. We got a cheapo uh, tripod. We come around to the light board itself. Okay, let's come around to the light board. Uh, first, I'll talk about the microphone. We've got a little microphone here, USB condenser microphone. We have uh, the light board itself, which I bought from a, a company. And you can see the light board is just a piece of glass in a frame. It has two additional features that make it a light board. Uh, one of those is this little plug here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the plug out. Watch what happens to the writing when I pull the plug out. It becomes very dim, harder to see. Put the plug back in and we get that nice glow going on. Now the reason that happens is because in the frame of the glass itself, there's little LEDs that shoot directly into the glass. Uh, now this also has a presenter light, which I'm not like a big fan of, and I'll show you why I don't really like that in a second, but that's come standard with the bit of kit. I'll probably just unplug that because I don't love it. Okay, so what I do did do to get some presenter light going is if we look around the edge, we've got some LED strip all the way around the light board. Now, if I take my remote control, I can turn that LED strip on. Now that LED strip is not for illuminating the, the glass, it's for illuminating the person sitting in this chair. So that light all the way around gives you a nice lighting of the subject, the person in question. Uh, and then finally, I'll just turn those lights off. You can dim them and play with them to make the light right. Okay, and then finally we have our computer over here running uh, a program called Screencast-O-Matic. Now the setup you just saw would work if this was nighttime, and if this was a completely dark room, this would work. But you can see that it's not working at the moment because it's daytime, there's a lot of light pouring into the room, and those reflections, you can see all of like, you can see my my picture of a zebra over there, you can see my computer monitor sitting over there. Um, the reflections are, are horrible and it's not working at all. So to fix that for daytime recording, for nighttime recording, everything you just saw will work and it will be perfect. But for daytime recording, we can fix that quite easily. So for daytime recording, what I've done, you can see these little things here. So I've duct taped on a little like fence post hinge and a piece of metal, and I'm just gonna grab that from both sides, swing one around like this, take the other one, swing it around, and I've got a nice little triangle sitting there. All right, I won't show you how to do the next step, I'll just show you what happens when I do the next step. And so now draped over this curtain, over these curtain rails, we've got a little curtain here. Now this is a block out curtain, so you can see it's white on that side, but it's black it's black on the inside. And now let's uh, oh, let's take a look at what it looks like first. 
Uh, this is what it looks like from that side. You can't see very much. You can see the camera sitting there. You can see the tripod. Uh, let's look at what it looks like when I press record. All right, so now we're ready to record in the daytime. You can see all those reflections have been cut out now um, simply because of that curtain there that's just not letting any light on the other side of that light board. Really nice, easy way to set it up. So now we come to the costs and you can see the individual breakdown here. I'll also put everything that I've put in here in the description below this video. Uh, you can see that all together it comes to about $1,300. Uh, now, if you're building it at school, $1,300, that's how much it's going to cost to build. If you're building it at home, don't forget that this is going to be tax deductible because it's for work. So about uh, $420 for like a tax deduction. So it's about $870 to build this all together. Um, I highly recommend it. Obviously, I've gone ahead and built one because I really enjoy teaching in this way, uh, whether that's making videos or if you're going into online learning, lockdown learning, then teaching in this way on Microsoft Teams or Zoom or whatever you use is also really, really nice as well. All right, uh, that is it.